Well, anyway, we got a lot to get into today that's important. Most notably... What, the, what, what, what's important today? Well, the Shad Gaspar John Huber Award's pretty important, Dave. Okay, we can talk about that. The rest, so, the rest of it's much much less important. Okay, so so our first annual Shad Gaspard John Huber Memorial Award, and um, the idea is to have as few people as possible. But this was like a year that a lot of people were like really good. There were a lot of people really bad, you know, because the pandemic kind of like I, I I consider the pandemic. Um, I think it said like only a million times. It was like a. Um, What's it like? You know, you know those um um, God, I don't know magnifying glass things that you used to have when you were a kid, magnifying glass, right? Yes, they were magnifying glasses. Right, right. So it's like a magnifying glass on you. So like, it's like if you were a good person this year, you were probably like a really good person, and if you were a bad person this year, you were probably so bad, and like there's like no like like you can tell like there's people who are like kind of bad people. But you kind of gave him the benefit of the doubt, and in and this year, like those people, they lost all benefit of the doubt, and and then there's some good people who you know eh, that's they're they're good people, and then by the end of the year, you realize they're freaking great people. So this year there was like I, it was funny because I was one of the people who I was doing the award. Basically, there was a, a committee, and I had to make everyone. This wasn't my choice. I mean, I, I guess it is my choice, but everyone had to be someone who's like not affiliated with me or else it would be like, I didn't want it to be the, oh, it's you and Brian got together and stuff. I wanted people that like I knew, but they're not affiliated with me. So, so it ended up being, it was actually me and one other person and, and there's a couple other people that were involved in this. So one of the people said to me, it's just like, there's so many horrible people in this business. You're going to have a hard time finding like good people. And it's like, not if, not really. So we actually had to whittle it way, way down. And, um, there's like no, um, it, it, this was kind of like a list of people who I felt that had to be honored this year because of this year for various and sundry reasons. So like there's other people that I absolutely think are worthy of it. And probably next year they'll they'll be there, but they didn't have. They, they, it's like not. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It didn't have to be this year. And there's one person who I actually wanted that I thought had to be this year, but it was overruled because we already had. We were the idea was to you know only have a couple people, and we ended up whittling it down to six people. Um, so anyway, it's uh, Shad Gaspard. Who ha had to win because I mean, what's what's more noble than, you know, I mean, not that not that he made the choice of like, I'm going to die and save my son, although essentially that that was his choice that that was the end result of his choice. But the point of it all was, is that he absolutely, you know, it, and in his time of drowning, made sure that his that the lifeguard went to his son and and um saved his son's life and he lost his life which is why the award is there is an award there wouldn't even be an award without him so he had to win and um you know it's like uh so anyway he he was the main recipient or or then then um, biggie um basically because of a lot of the stuff that he's done um after the death of george floyd and i thought that that was a um, I just thought that that was, then he was not my, my idea, but, but he was someone who, uh, you know, followed that up with a lot of just a lot of stuff that people really needed to hear and needed to know in a lot of different ways. And, you know, he's trying to do the animated series, our heroes rock to talk about black heroes of the United States that we don't read about in our textbooks and we don't hear about and i think that that's a very uh, i'm you know that's a very noble thing i mean one of the things in recent years um not so much this year but in the last 10 15 years because i was like such a big history buff growing up and there was so much history that like i didn't know that's important history but, but it's black history like i knew black sports history because that's like like it was covered up for years and years and years but eventually like the sports stars it it you know it did come out and if you're a sports buff and you really want to know you can learn it okay but history history 
I mean, I guess you could learn that too, but I didn't, you know, until like long after college. And it really pissed me off that there were so many things that I should have known that they didn't teach me in high school and they didn't teach me in college. So, um, I mean, that's, so that's kind of like been a pet peeve of mine. So anyway, but so, um, he, he and Andrea, Andreas Hale are putting together that series and, um, and they got a hundred thousand dollars in donations to put it together. So that's really cool. But, um, you know, he uh, he and uh, Kofi took the knee on SmackDown, which, you know, I mean, it's like I it, it was something you 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 as as baby faces. I, I don't really think he was risking a lot, but you could say he was because it was very polarizing at the time he did it. It was not nearly as polarizing as it was three years earlier, but that's not the point. The, the point is, it's still risky. In a sense, it still could be controversial to some people and just a lot of other things. I mean, he, he did things that were inconvenient, would have been very convenient to stay quiet. And then um, um, Sami Zayn for Sami for Syria, um, you know, he put that together, raised money um, for mobile medical for mobile medical clinics that went to small towns in Syria. And um, they were averaging treating 144 ill or injured people per day. In these that that were lived far away from hospitals, didn't have the money for hospitals. So I I thought that he absolutely absolutely needed to be honored this year for that. And Tracy Smothers, uh, who passed away, so that was um, in October. And if you read the Tracy Smothers story that I did, or you were on social media and saw the plethora of people, I mean, there have been a lot of lot of there have been so many wrestler deaths of late. And the two that, you know, like, I mean, like, yes, when Pat Patterson died, you heard a lot of stuff, okay? And you heard a lot of stuff about others, too. But with Tracy, it was so much of the wrestlers, of the wrestlers that worked the independent circuit for the last 20 years, you know, from CM Punk to the modern guys, and the stories, and, and he was just a very influential, upbeat guy who loved wrestling, wrestled you know, wrestled in the big time, wrestled in the small time, just loved to go out there, had cancer, uh, still wanted to go out there, even though he couldn't at that point. And, um, but he helped so many guys um, just in learning stuff. And I mean, different guys have told me stories about how, like, they would be on a card with a veteran, and sometimes the veterans would, like, yell at him or demean them, and Tracy was never that guy, and Tracy would 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 criticize them but in a nice way and in an effective way like you know this instead of saying you're doing this all wrong it would be like um you know i mean why don't you try this why don't you try it this way all and things like that so i felt for his contributions to independent wrestling um for for decades that that he belonged and then uh margaret stalvey and uh, mega Paresh, who some of you would know the names and some of you would not um they are they both are they both work with the uh, jacksonville jaguars and with aew on the legal side and they were the ones who uh when john huber uh got sick i mean they were the ones who you know made sure that he got the best medical care that you could get and they were the ones that comforted his wife his his wife did not even know them when john got sick and they be they became her best friends got her through thanksgiving got her through christmas you know the worst period of her life while also making sure john had the best care and uh just felt very strongly that um you know i mean it was their it's it was their job to 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 get john through this it was not their job to get amanda through this and they more than did that they were you know she called them like her angels or whatever so um you know under those circumstances um i felt that they both needed to be honored and mentioned and talked about this year so those are the people and um i'm glad we did it and uh there's a lot of other people that were that will be under consideration and hopefully there'll be like a hundred people next year that i'll have to think about and we're gonna have a, and then we will we, we'll have an impossible time whittling them down because there'll be so many good things to say about these people that that I'm going to need a freaking whole issue to write all the stories. So that's my goal for next year is just to have so many people that it just drives everyone crazy that we're good people and great people um, over the next year. And I mean, there's a lot of people and, and look, 
this 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 website um um you know if you look at some of the stuff that that the people from the website have done it's been really good um you know with with jim valley and with um jay and just other things like that and um i mean it's been it's it's been like as far as the website goes um you know i think that it's really turned into an awesome community and um you know just uh, i mean a lot of people in wrestling you know and, and and many of them don't want their names mentioned uh many of them do this anonymously uh many of them don't but i will say that like this year has brought out when with when a lot of people had a horrible year horrible health horrible you know things happen to them within this business or in the periphery of the business there were a lot of people who really, you know, stepped up that didn't have to, that, you know, and many, many, you don't even know who they are, but many that you do, but that's not, there's nothing wrong with that either. You know, I mean, I look at like um, so many of these things and I look at the list and I'm really, you know, I see the same names over and over and, and you got to give those guys all the credit in the world. And they, it's, it's, this is not, you know, it comes from, from all walks of life in this industry. So, so. There's a lot of good things this year, and I wanted to, I wanted to recognize them, and I want to recognize them every year, and uh, so, and it's like a, you know, I don't want this to be a political thing, and I don't want this to be a popularity contest, uh, but I want to have like, I mean, everybody else wants like two this or three. This would be a very people. good award for everyone to vie for. Yes, like 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 everybody that I was working with on this, like. I, I mean, there's nobody who, who like, you know, the, the, these people had to go and had to be listed. But it's like, you know, we should, you know, maybe only, you know, in the future, maybe have, you know, only one or two or something like that. And it's like, man, I want 100 next year. I want so many people next year that do so much good that that we can't that we can't deny them. So anyway, that's but this is like a good first year. And um, so there you go. I, I mean, I, and I have there were plenty of names that. I had that are not on this list, but all of those names that I'm that I was thinking of were people that I could go next year. Whereas these people, um, it was it was important that they were. It was it was it was this year was it had to be this year, you know. So that's the story on that. So right. so anyway, all of you people listening, um, I want you to all try every one of us. Let's just try to let's just try to be so good next year that I cannot put it i cannot not put you on the list we're gonna have a freaking list of jericho out there hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com if you sign up today you get access to every single one of them the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week you can podcast them listen to them on the road at work working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.